Hi guys, it's Bank Holiday Monday. It's a scorching day today, scorching day today. I've come back out in that field I was uh, in last night, digging all the tiny little bits and deep targets. So in this video, if I do actually find anything, there'll be a lot of deep targets. I'll tell you what this field is hammered with, hot rocks. The bloody things are everywhere. And it, it gives off a beep, 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 and you think, ooh, should I shunt it? And you dig it, and it's bloody hot rock. So, but I'm going to dig them, because uh, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to dig. I'm just sat here enjoying a, a drink of uh, Pulco. <laughs> We're all the way over from Paris. Pulco. Pulco lemon. I must be addicted to lemons now, like Dino. I always blink plenty of drinks when you come out on a day like this. Never go out ill prepared on days like this because I used to do years ago and it does bite you. You need plenty of water. Make sure you set up a little base camp like I have. There's loads of shady trees if I need to get in the shade. Uh, and just enjoy yourself and have fun in weather like this. But like I say, do be prepared. It can catch you out. Especially in England because we're not really used to this weather. Because <laughs> normally it's raining. Like I say, go out and have fun so today I'm just gonna go you can't really see it at the moment but uh, I'm gonna go down that side digging every target I can find some targets I'm gonna film some I'm not you don't want to see everything so that's what I'm gonna be doing today I've got about three or four hours before I've got to get off so let's see what can come up well, all I have to say is thanks for watching join me on the next hole Bloody things are everywhere. And it gives off. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, two star. Hi guys, first find. Well, I give off a belting signal, it give off a crap signal when it was in the hole. Like a blip, blip, blip. I thought it was another hot rock, but it's not, and I haven't got a clue what that is. Kung Fu star. It's a little, I don't know actually, it's not a nut, who knows, <laughs> anybody got any ideas what that is, whack it in the comments, click that subscribe button on your way past go, subscribe, like, comment, how's that, subscribe, like, comment, <laughs> since my last video, I put a video out about Paris, I've lost five, I don't, I don't know. I think a lot of it is... I get a lot of these subscribe to me, I'll subscribe to you people. And you subscribe to them and then as soon as you get a minute, they unsubscribe to you. So when I get a chance, I'm going to go through my subscribe list because it's getting a bit daft really. You know, to lose five just to put one video out because it was about Paris is a bit crazy. Um, so I should be telling up my list as one says. Seeing what's what. And you go, there's the next find. A Kung Fu nut. Thanks for watching. Join me in the next hole. Hi guys, next find. Oh, I've been digging up a lot of hot rocks. Here's the next find. Little button. Little button. It's a bit of round arama. A bit of round arama. But, still shows that I've been missing stuff. I wish I'd have missed. I'm oh, sorry. Getting bit into hell. Now. I wish uh, I'd have missed the uh, hot rocks. There you go. I don't know how old that could be. 100 years old, maybe. Still got a loop on the back. If you like buttons, there's a button. I don't mind my buttons, but I wish that would be silver and round. <laughs> Have some pellets on it. Date of 1500 or something. Uh, but anyway, that's next find, button. Thanks for watching. Jump me on the next hole. Hi guys, next find. Nut. Nutterama. Bloody hell, it's hard work for these nuts and bolts. Nuts, bolts and buttons. 
come out, that all stinks. I think there's been some lime water here. You sort of, oh, it stinks. But anyway, that's the find. A 15th century nut. That'll be made of gold or something like that, you know. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Join me on the next nut. Hi guys, you're not going to believe it, find of a lifetime in that old stinks and all. I think it's, like I say, there's still loads of water stuff at the bottom of there. Smells. There we go. Yes, coin, last. Okay, it's nothing too spectacular. I think there's a date there. Let me try and see if I can't zoom it in. Not that much, obviously. I don't know if you can see it, but I think you can see 1917. So 1917, that is going to be a George V. See George there. It's a shame he couldn't be George V, silver George V, but he's a George V a half penny. I was beginning to give up any hope of finding a coin up here. Woohoo! Coin! Coin, 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 coin! Thanks for watching. Join me on the next hole. Hi guys, gonna call it a day for today. Uh, I'm running out of time basically, I've got to get back to the car, get back home. Um, I was looking for this guy on this tractor over here to, to come down this side. I wouldn't mind getting permission for these fields at the side of me, uh, but he's in another field quite far. I can't get into this field. I have to go and ask him. I'd have to go across the brook and stuff like that. So, with a bit of luck, next time I come in, maybe I can catch him mowing this field. I'd love to get into this field. You know, there could be loads more over this side. And like I say, a lot of farms around here, you don't actually know where the farmhouse is to ask them, you know, if I can get permission or not. So, I'll try that again another day. So anyway, thanks for joining me today. Oh, just knocked my garret over. Um, thanks for joining me today. Uh, sorry the fines have been a bit... I've got a coin. What a winner. So, all I have to say is, uh, join me on the next hunt. <laughs>